he startled me. Didn't see you there. Just catching up on some light reading. In case you're here for the lesson. I'm here tonight to tell you how to dress like a man. Let's get right down to business. Tonight we're going to focus on how to tie a tie. But first I'm going to give you a few pointers on the rest of the attire. First I'm going to start out with the shoes down below. I personally chose some brown shoes to go with my navy blazer. After that, I gave myself a pair of cords. Those are corduroys. A few newbies. And then up, you got a white shirt, button down. Nice collar, no buttons up top. Okay, moving on. When picking a tie, you want to have a good selection, so come on, I'll show you my selection. Over here we got lime green, teal color with some light baby blue and white stripes. We got a red pattern tie, solid baby blue tie, Christmas red, Christmas black with some penguins on it, you know, if you want to get festive, and then a traditional blue and ba baby blue with white pattern tie. Tonight, I'm going to go with the red tie. Make myself look like a politician. Now, this is where we get down to business, so pay attention. I personally like to start out with the top button. So, lift your collar up, place the tie around your neck. Make sure that the short side is about three buttons down. You're going to take the left side, place it over the right side, and you're going to come up through all the way, pull down to the right. You're going to leave it there, and then you can kind of come, up, come back under and pull it back up through the hole. Almost there. You're going to pull down so you have the outline of your tie. It's going to look like a triangle. From there, you come all the way around again, covering the triangle with the tie. Come back through the hole. Make sure it comes down to about your, a little bit past your belt. Come back through this little hole that you've made. Pull through nice and tough. You're going to have to shape it up a little bit if you did a sloppy job like I did here. And pull with the short side as you see here, holding the knot. Slide it up. You know, you can make a little, make a few adjustments, and then fold your collar over. You got yourself a nice little Windsor knot. Now you try. Your Windsor knots are looking great. You guys are naturals. Now, once you're done with the rest of your apparel, and you can move on to our final lesson, the blazer. Like I said earlier, I'm going to go with a blue blazer. Now you'll put it on one sleeve at a time, like so. Making sure the collar is intact. Once on, it would be nice to have a lady friend to help you out with the collar. Make sure it's flush with the collar of your shirt. Thank you, Kel. Now there are very important rules regarding the buttons of the blazer. Pay close attention. The third button, sometimes. The second button, always button the second button. And the bottom button, you never, ever button this button. Now you want to make sure that your, collar, your cuffs on your shirt sticking out a little bit, and you're good to go. See you next time.